Dogs are the embodiment of pure and unconditional love. Some dogs are heroes and fighters too. Released in 2015, Max is a movie about a heroic military dog who suffers from PTSD and tries to assimilate into family life after suffering tragedy in the Iraq War who fights to avenge his owner's death. Welcome back to Recapped Films. Watch out, spoilers ahead. Now let's begin. Dogs have been used by the U.S. military since World War I. Over 3,000 dogs have served as soldiers in Iraq and Afghanistan. The protagonist of the movie is one such dog named Max. At the beginning of the movie, Max leads the U.S. military soldiers to a settlement in Afghanistan. His handler, Kyle, follows behind him while the rest of the troop tries to communicate with the villagers. With Max's help, they are able to find an illegal store of guns and other weapons inside one of the houses. The villagers had been selling them to terrorist organizations. The following day, Kyle's superiors bring his troop for questioning about missing weapons. Someone from their group is corrupt, but the officials are still to find out who. Kyle knows that it is his best friend and fellow soldier Tyler who is stealing weapons to smuggle them back to the United States. Kyle confronts Tyler on their next field trip, but Tyler asks him to keep his mouth shut about the matter. Max is yet again leading the troop and he stops midway sensing danger, but Tyler asks him to keep going. Because of his carelessness, Max walks right into the trap set by the locals and several explosions take place around him. Kyle then runs to save his dog and he shouts for Tyler's help, but Tyler doesn't move from his position behind the rocks. In the shootout, Kyle is killed, but everyone else survives. Back in Texas, Kyle's father Ray is highly disappointed in Justin for being so irresponsible. As the two are seen arguing, some officials arrive at their house to inform them of their son's death. The family is left devastated by the news. At Kyle's funeral, the soldiers bring Max so that he can say goodbye to his master for the last time. Since Max doesn't follow anyone's order other than Kyle's, he has become hard to control after his death. Max retaliates, but he seems to recognize Justin. With Justin's help, the soldiers get the dog back to the car and send him away to a shelter. Justin's mother, Pamela, informs them that Max is about to be put down. The family visits him in the shelter and then decides to adopt Max. The next day, Justin goes to see his friend, Chewie. Dustin often pirates games on the internet and sells them to his friends. He does the same that day as well. He also meets Chewie's cousin, Carmen, who happens to love dogs. When she finds out that Justin is having troubles with Max, she then offers to help him train the dog. Using Carmen's tricks, Max finally learns to walk alongside Justin by the end of the day. Pamela then invites Carmen to stay for dinner. As they eat, Max begins to bark aggressively, and moments later, the doorbell rings. Justin opens the door and finds Tyler outside. It turns out that he was injured while in service and has returned home for some time. Ray and Pamela are happy to see him, and they invite him to the 4th of July parade. Pamela brings him out to see Max, thinking that the two will reconnect. However, Max gets very aggressive on seeing Tyler. He even manages to break free from the leash and attacks him, but Justin and Carmen stop the dog at the right time. Tyler stares at Max in anger, knowing that the dog knows his true motive. After the event, Ray brings a cage for Max. On the 4th of July, the family is out enjoying the parade when the fireworks start. Max freaks out because of the noise. Justin quickly returns home and tries to bring him inside the house, but a terrified Max refuses to come out of the cage. Tyler starts to work with Ray at his storage unit facility. On being asked how Tyler died, Tyler lies and claims that the dog went against Kyle and attacked him. Saddened by the death of his son, Ray now wants to take out all of his frustration on Max. He then returns home and points a gun at the dog when no one is around. Fortunately for Max, Justin stops Ray before he shoots. He leaves after a warning and asks for one last chance to keep Max. The next day, Justin goes to the establishment where Max was trained by Kyle. Kyle's good friend and soldier claimed that Max was a very good dog and he couldn't have attacked his trainer. Justin also finds out that Tyler didn't return home because of an injury. Following that, he goes to Carmen's house with a DVD of Max being trained. After watching the video, Justin is very sure that Max couldn't have been the cause of Kyle's death. Just then, Chewie's criminal associate named Emilio arrives at the house asking Justin for the pirated game. As they talk, he gets a call from Tyler, which makes Justin very suspicious. After Emilio leaves, Justin makes Max follow his car to see what is his business with Tyler. They eventually reach a place in the middle of the woods and see Tyler meeting Emilio. With them are the Italian gangsters who are buying guns and weapons. Justin quickly then figures out that Tyler is smuggling guns from Afghanistan and then was selling them to the gangsters. 
The gangsters also have two dogs to guard them, who hear Max's bark and chase him. Justin tries to run away, but Max is attacked by the dogs. He manages to overpower both of them, and the two escape without being caught. When Justin returns home that day, he is surprised to see Tyler and his business partner, Deputy, stack at his house. They realize that he had seen them with the guns and other weapons. The deputy stack has an injured hand which he falsely claims was bitten by Max. As Max is a danger to everyone, they will now have to put him down. Justin knows that the two are lying, but Tyler asks to talk to him in private. He threatens the kid to keep his mouth shut about what he had seen in the woods. He is scared and then agrees to not tell anyone for his and his family's safety. Later, the people from the dog shelter take Max away. Tyler returns to work at Ray's storage unit and Ray confronts him about a storage room that has been occupied without paperwork. Tyler lied and said it was his friend who was storing things there. When Ray returns home, he asks Justin to tell him what really happened with Max and Deputy Stack. He gets suspicious that Justin is not telling them the whole truth. Ray then returns to the storage unit at night and finds Tyler and Deputy Stack bringing out the guns from the storage room. Their secret was out now. Hence, they take Ray hostage, planning to kill him after the deal is done. Back at home, Pamela gets a call from Ray, saying that he will be staying at the hunting cabin for the night. But just then, Max arrives at the house again. He and Justin go to Choi and tell them about the situation. Following that, Max leads Justin, Chewy, and Carmen to the place where Ray was taken. Carmen runs back to call the police while the guys keep an eye on Tyler and his gang. The enemy dog again smells them nearby and attacks Max. Tyler and Emilio also walk towards Justin with an intention of killing him while Deputy Stack stays with Ray to keep an eye on him. As soon as the two are alone, Ray attacks Deputy Stack and manages to free himself. After a long fight, Max is also successful in defeating the enemy dog and runs to Ray. The father and son finally reunite, but Tyler's still in a pursuit to kill them. To distract him, Ray separates from his son and runs in the other direction, and Deputy Stack follows Ray in his car. Ray shoots him, causing his vehicle to crash with an explosion. In the meantime, Justin and Max are running away from Tyler, but he catches up to them. He points his gun at Justin and expresses his frustration. Tyler's about to shoot the guy, but Max comes to the rescue yet again. He jumps on Tyler, making him fall off the bridge and into the water. Max is also injured in the process, but is safe when Carmen arrives with the police some minutes later. Both Max and Justin are rescued in the following scene, and we see Justin in front of his brother's grave. He thanks Kyle for giving him a buddy like Max and salutes him for the first time. When he returns home, he is welcomed by his mother and Carmen cooking Mexican food together. Chewie is on the couch playing video games, and it is revealed that Carmen and Justin are now dating. When Ray returns home from work, Justin asks him about Max's cage, and Ray says that he has sold it, because it is about time Max stays inside the house just like a family member. The movie ends as the family happily prepares for dinner.